Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, want to show you something today, something uh, new to the family here, something I just picked up, and uh, I think you guys are really gonna like this. It's Kiss me, you fool. <laughs> Kiss me. It's a pretty cool car. And, uh, well, what it is here, it's, it's under the cover. You can see it's a, uh, it's a tiny car. And, uh, well, let me pull the cover off and show you. All right, there it is. So this here, this is a 1986 Pontiac Fiero GT. It's actually a, an 86 and a half model, which uh, which allowed it to get the five speed instead of the four speed from the factory which is really cool. Uh, I bought it from the original owner. It has about 81,000 miles on it. As you can see, it's very clean. It's been, from what I'm told, it's been pretty much garage kept uh, for most of its life. You know, it's, it was dirty when I got it. It was outside for a while, I think. Before I originally got it, I think towards the end of the previous owner's time with having it, he just, you know, was kind of not giving it the best of care, so it was outside a lot. You could see there's some, there are some issues with it. Um, this is one I want to deal with. The rubber shot on these window, uh, I think they're like dew, dew wipe seals, uh, both inside and out. And the door panels are a little, they've been messed with. And a lot of the, those little plastic clips are shot, so I gotta work on that. And the paint is not flawless. It's got some scratches. You know, some swirl marks here and there. Front's a little beat up. But same thing on this side. The rubber is pretty broken down, so I can get these parts. It's like $195 for both sides. So I'll do a video on that. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Pretty clean on the inside. Yeah, seats aren't ripped. The plastic is in great shape. It's not a lot of the ones I was looking at. The plastic was very warped. Dashboard's not cracked. Right. It's not too heavily worn. The knobs and dials and stuff. I don't believe it was ever smoked in. The original owner wasn't a smoker. I'll show you the driver's side. As you can see the odometer. 81515. It's got a sunroof that does not leak. It's got this cool little Sound performance dial. I can't tell that it does anything. Oh, one thing I didn't notice is every speaker is blown. They pop like crazy when I put even just like uh, AM radio on. So I'm gonna fix that. They did put aftermarket pedals in, which suck actually, because uh, it's hard to get your feet down in there anyways, and the pedals are extra wide. 
and it's really a pain getting to the accelerator pedal. The brake pedal is uh, is way too big. Uh, so I'm going to put that back to stock. I think my goal here is basically to make this car just stock. Any mod that anyone did, which really there are hardly any, I'm just going to put back. Let me show you the engine. Pop the hood. So you can see very clean. He did this mod here, this k and filter with some sort of like fish tank hose. <laughs> not, not really good. I'm going to try and put that back. One of the cool things is, just pan around here. It came with some parts. So it came with a door panel. It came with this, uh, I believe this is for the air cleaner and the EGR setup and here's all the air cleaner parts the original ones which i'm going to put back and uh the panel the door panel there is an issue here you can kind of see where it's warped i think it just was the sun warped it because these are just plastic and you can see right down in there. You know, even with the brand new rubber here, it's not going to touch the glass. So, I don't know. This panel's a little beat up. It's got some scratches and whatnot, but... I might try to make it work. See if some of this stuff can buff out. That looks like it's a sticker. So we'll see. But uh, it's pretty clean. I gotta fix this trunk light. Uh, the carpet's in decent shape. You know, it does look, it does look pretty clean. No real leaks that I can see. I thought I saw a little spot of coolant when I pulled away one time out of my driveway, but uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll check it out. I gotta see what's something going on here. I don't know if that's factory heat shields of some sort. It looks like duct tape. I gotta check that out. Yeah, that's somebody's been messing with this. Looks like somebody changed that the coil. But let me say we start her up. See how it sounds. Alright. Uh, can't do a Britney Spears getting in this car. So we'll look over the gauges real quick. Lights, dimmer switch, interior lights. Speedometer, tachometer, temperature gauge, fuel gauge. This is the uh, volt gauge, battery amperage gauge, oil pressure. You know, air controls. You got the vintage 80s Delco tape deck with equalizer. I've got my iPod connector. Came with the car, by the way. Oh, that basically sold me on the car. <laughs> you can play music in the car. That's right. Yeah, it's got power windows. As you can see, it's a five speed. It's miss missing an ashtray. And a couple of the mounts are broken where it's missing a screw. So this thing consequently moves around a little bit. We'll fix that. Let's, let's start her up. See, it idles nice. Makes a lot of noise. 
Let's shut the door. Now it's just massage seats. We got built-in massage seats. Not built-in. We got auto massage seats. <laughs> Power door locks, which don't seem to work at all. You have to uh, manually push it in. Yeah. Oh, that actually moved that time. There you go. That's starting to move, actually. Maybe we just have to grease them up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Mine moved. Okay. When I take the door apart, let's see if this one moves. When I take the doors apart, I'll uh, work on that. Let's see, it's got a center console. And that's about it. It's a little car. It's not terribly fast. It's only 140 horsepower, but it, it's very light. So it uh, it feels fast. It's fun. That's the key. Right, Jay? It's yeah. fun. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty cool. Cool exhaust. Oh, one other thing. I gotta show you the frunk. Let me close this. Pop the frunk, Jay. Remember, it's underneath here. brakes, manual steering, there's the clutch slave cylinder, hydraulic, portioning valve, little sensor, spare tire, washer fluid, the original jack with the lug nut wrench. Coolant reservoir. Looks a little low. Dad, I need that cooler in my computer. <laughs> it's got the lights. Uh, the lights work. The pop-up lights, they actually pop up. We'll see how long that lasts. It's pretty clean though. So that's that. That is the 1986 and a half Pontiac Fiero GT. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you all next time.